Can you imagine putting a giant tuna head over your own head? Well, this is what happens in the sneak preview of Global Child Japan as we explore the importance of contrast. Yup, uh, things got fishy. Enjoy! When I created Global Child, I saw that people were traveling but without a purpose. What we do during every one of our episodes is that we teach a life lesson. Everywhere we go, there's something to learn and there's something to share. So we're so grateful that you're spending time watching our show. Go to Amazon Prime right now to see the full episodes. Follow us on Instagram at Global Child TV for a chance to travel the world with us. You'd think I'd have other fish to fry, but since Tsukiji is the biggest wholesale fish market in the world, that means there's still a ton of fish out there. So I decided to stay and fish around. So now we're gonna go to the market with, yeah. the, with the chef, right? Yes, I'm not chef though. We're gonna pick out some ingredients and then we're gonna learn how to make some sushi. Who better than with master sushi chef Morita, a true big fish, to show me around. Three perks are available from one tuna. Lean, fatty, and medium fatty. All because of the color. Things were about to get fish. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. Good. 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 On the head? Yeah. yeah. On the head? That's one of those things that will jade me forever. This is actually made of egg, surprisingly enough. Tuna for breakfast, I can handle that. But the egg on a stick, that's where I draw the line. This main market has been around in one shape or another since the 1600s. Anything in the ocean that's for sale, you'll probably find it here. There's over 400 different items, even this. So this is grasshopper? Okay, okay, I can't think about it. One, you do a Two, three. I think you find it's really good. It's actually boiled really bad. So this is actually Japan's most important seafood market. And from this place, it goes all over the country. No fish were harmed during the making of this video, except all of these ones. Make it stop! Make it stop! The chef was like, no, you have to see this, and I'm like, no! <laughs> We make sushi. So we're getting ready to make sushi. And of course, when you make sushi, you gotta wear a sushi shirt. Sushi in Japan began as a means of preserving fish in fermented rice. Then one day, people began to eat the rice as well. Genius! He's a, she's a chef master. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, it's tougher than it looks. Oh. Yes! Yeah! My trophy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you've already put one on I put one on my head. I got one in my hands. I'm done with all this fish. Master, knife back. Namaste. Namaste. A sushi chef is a true artisan, working countless hours to achieve perfection. Their motto is addition by subtraction. Only a few fresh ingredients combine the right way and present it as a work of art. Throw in a little sake and it's a great way to make new friends. <laughs> Except for this guy. Get him up, baby. After I made peace with my new little friend, now it's time to get some rest. Japan is known as the land of the rising sun. But honestly, these sunsets are equally impressive. If you have an amazing life story, if there's something you want to do in this world, I want to hear your dreams. I want to know how you see yourself traveling around the world. Follow us on Instagram at Global Child TV. Shoot us a DM. Watch the show on Amazon Prime, and I want to know who you are and why you should travel the world with us. Thank you so much. See you later.